How you guys doing today? <laughs> I hope all is well with you. Um, I hope everyone has had been a productive, successful week. I hope everyone is being safe and prayed up. Your girl is here today with some Popeye's chicken scripts. I am hungry. It's been a couple days since I recorded, so I said, let me come in, you know, chit-chat with my people, you know, let you guys know what's kind of been going on and, you know, things like that. And just have a little chat. Nothing too deep, nothing too serious. Um, I've been out running errands, so grab me some Popeye's chicken scrubs. Um, I did the combo. It came, and I got the um, fries. The biscuit. I put a lot of fries in there for the chicken strips. Um, I'm not a big fan. I call myself got this little tray, y'all, but I don't know. I think my actual uh seat is too big for it. I mean, my stand wheel is too big, so I'm gonna have to just put it down here on my lap like this. But um, but yeah, um. I'm really not a um, fan of any of their sauces. The black and ranch is okay, but I'm not a fan. So I just got me some ketchup. And they sweet tea. The drink. I asked for ketchup. She gave me three. But I ain't gonna talk about that. It's hot because it was on um, because it's um lunch hour. So everything is getting hot right now, so so yeah, I had a birthday that passed. Um, actually it was last Wednesday, so a week and a day ago from today. And on my birthday, all the madness was happening in DC. On my birthday. <laughs> um, that is something. I don't think, like, to start off the year like that. On my birthday, I don't think I'm going to ever forget, <laughs> you know? This your birthday. I got this from our local Popeyes, our Popeyes had been shut down for like months, if not a year. It had caught fire. And then when the pandemic happened, they wasn't, I guess, rushing to go in there and to, and to fix it up and stuff. So it the one that's local had been shut down forever. Like, we really had to drive all the way out if you wanted Popeye's. So, now that it's been open, the line be hanging out the street. I heard I'm a, a silk press for my birthday. I like it. It's lasting pretty good. Well, I keep it wrapped up for the most part. I got a lot of body in it. You know, so I like that. Now, usually... 
I have some grape jelly with the biscuits. They soft. That's the only reason I could just really eat it. I know people like honey with eggs. I'm not a big honey fan. Believe it or not. But I like what's that like church's biscuits. But like the squeeze the actual honey. Oh no. It's weird. Mmm. When them biscuits be hot and fresh, they really do be good. No, you can't stuff it in your mouth because they thick, but when they be hot and fresh, they be so good. They really be good. I'm so glad. That tea not overly sweet. Cause usually they good for making too sweet tea. It's just right. So yeah, y'all. I ain't really do much on my birthday. I had a lot of plans to do stuff. Well a lot of things in my head that I wanted to do. But just with like everything going on in the world, it's like precaution, you know. So I just told the Lord, thank you. I went out to eat. That was it. None too over the top. But I will tell you this. I have been... I remember mean, wanting to just get up and record... I got to get back to when I first had my vision for my channel. The goal was to film so many videos, have some in this arcade, and I mean, we're backed up, you know, and produce them and still record, like I used to do when I first started. And I know what I have to do to do that, but, y'all, yeah, when I say I've been... On a whole nother vibe, energy, caked up, booed up type <laughs> type thing. Like I ain't even been really wanting to. Re like I've been wanting to record. Like I like I like. Oh, you need to get up and record, but because I've been so time invested, I guess I ain't really been. I ain't really been trying to dedicate the time to it a little bit. Oh, yeah. By the way, I got a three piece, but one of my classmates worked up there. 
No, she done gave me a five piece. <laughs> I ain't gonna eat all five. I may take it. I've been craving me a salad. The ones that I don't eat. Put it in the oven, let it crisp back up, and cut it up and put it over a salad later. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Give me some spinach. Some spring meat, some spring mix, lettuce. I think that one got spinach in it. Spinach. It got arugula. It got a bunch of stuff mixed in it. And some shredded carrots. Give me some croutons. Then meal some hard boiled eggs. Some raisins and flower seeds and chopped this chicken up on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm making sure I finish my biscuit. That's an inside joke. But yeah. Y'all. When I say you really have to release certain things, certain energy, certain dead weight and sometimes it is so hard to do because you feel a certain obligation or attachment or something to, to, to certain people and certain things. <clears throat> but you're praying for clarity and things like that. But when you listen, I got a little, I got like a little chit chat moment. Let me finish this chicken strip. And then I'll get into it before I let y'all be. Okay, y'all. I'm good and full off of that. I ate two of the scripts. That was good. So, got me some water here too. I should have asked for some ice. About this just morning at the gas station. It's quite warm, but anyways, listen. So, sometimes you have to really just listen to that inner self, especially when it's constantly beating on you. And I know sometimes, like, I remember I was talking to one of my friends, and, you know, I was asking her, you know, uh, like, 
which one do you follow your mind or your heart? And she was like, try both of them. She was like, if your heart lets you down, then follow your mind. If your mind lets you down, follow your heart. She was like, nobody can't tell nobody anything about certain things or, you know, attachments that they have to people. Just try both of them. And then if both of them fail, then you know what you need to do. So y'all know in my previous videos, I've been telling you how I've been feeling numb. And i just been feeling like um. And, you know, when you feel like you're the problem in certain situations or you know that maybe you repeat a certain behavior, you no longer want to be that type of force or energy. So you wait for you wait for it to be recognized or for somebody else to honestly see like, yeah. It's, it's, it's not what it's supposed to be but you already knew that it wasn't what it's supposed to be but you always you're tired of being that person to say i know it's not what it's supposed to be i know the sky blue even though you telling me it's white you know what i'm saying like but now you see that the sky blue just like i see the sky blue so and so you just sit back and wait for that person to or whoever to realize that the sky is blue. You already been feeling it, but you get tired of being the one that's always trying to iterate it. But when y'all both get on the common ground that the sky is blue, and you decide to say, you know what? The sky blue. You go left, I go right. And you really feel that, like, I have not felt... in a while like how like i feel so good like when it was something as simple as i'm glad you see what i've been saying i'm glad i'm not the one who called the shots at&t changed my number and you be blessed and then to when it happened you don't like i feel so at peace i feel so i can't even and then to turn around and to just been literally cheesing like you is like your smack of going to kool-aid picture and you feeling all giddy inside to this new chapter that you got going on. It is... Like, y'all, I feel, like, so good. And sometimes as much as you feel like... Feel like... I think with me, sometimes I feel like because of the timing. But you know what? I'm a big man, uh, memes reader. And, you know, they say you can know somebody for three years and know somebody for three months who treats you better than the, the person who you have known for three months to treat you better than the person you've been with for three years. And that is so freaking true. Like, when I say that is so freaking true, y'all, that is so freaking true. Listen, like, I've been singing light on my feet. Listen, my mother was like, you just been so happy. And, I'm, and she, like... I feel so giddy inside, like, just so, you know, and I feel, and I think I feel good about my new chapter that I'm starting or, you know, easing into. It's because I learned all my mistakes in the past. So, and I remember, like, one of the first conversations, you know, in my new chapter or, you know, when I was writing, in my new chapter, the conversation was, let's just be our authentic self. Put it on the table. And it feels so good when you could go into a situation or anything. And you know what? I know what I did three and a half chapters ago. I'm not going to do it in, in this new, fresh chapter. And it feels so good. It feels so liberating. And it's like, like I said, like I have no other word to describe the way I've been feeling this side. Like, I changed my number. You know, prayed about things. And then analyzed my situation. 
And it's so crazy because, you know, our Heavenly Father, he is so immaculate. He is so funny because this same type of new journey, new chapter has been presented to me in the form of a just a bystander. And for it to just, just, it just, it just is what it is and you know and i'm i'm in it here first like and i and i like the fact that it's mutual like just go for it like and just let's enjoy the moment and y'all you girl been giddy i miss i be singing it is such a liberating feeling like i can't even like, cause I was, like I said, y'all know a couple videos back, I'm just telling you I've been feeling numb. But I feel like I have a repurposed, like I done been revitalized, you know. And it's, it's a good feeling, you know. It's a good, it's an awesome feeling. To let sometimes, so basically to sum it all up, like, it's okay to let that, that old baggage go. It's okay to say it's time to end the chapter. And yes, you may done revisit that same chapter. And no, you shouldn't have probably even revisited it. But because you thought it was something that you kept revisiting that same chapter. But baby, when you know all things have, you done tried, you done really tried. And you and you really feel like you have tried. Because there's some people say, oh, I tried and then try nothing but if you know you have tried to study and analyze and maybe even try to revamp yourself a little bit and it still is issues baby close that chapter just close it pray and meditate write with your wants your needs down and just pray that it'll happen in in due time in due time like you know in my old chapters, I discovered a lot about myself. I had to come into truth. And I still am coming into a lot of truth about myself. Because I have been so visually destructed, just yeah, destruct by a lot of things. Like for ourself and just things among me. So to be able to say, okay, let me just going to this new chapter this new journey being my authentic self it feels so good it feels so good it does like it really does and to know that it's somebody that really f with you the long way for being your authentic i'm trying to say you like and it feels good y'all like i really do I'm talking about I've been really I'm on a whole other wave, a whole other vibe, and it and it feels good. It feels good to know that you you have the same common interest with somebody. Like, don't tell me, oh, you want a family, but you make no time for your family. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you feel like providing is everything. Don't get me wrong. I I would never knock somebody who providing for their family. But like me, I know me, you know, and I discover that. I need a balanced life. I need somebody that's okay. We're going to go out there and chase that bag. We're going to do this. But yeah, we're going to make time for each other by any means necessary. We're going to keep what we got going on. I need that. I don't need... Uh, nothing else. I need balance. I need to know that, yeah, we chasing the bag. Yeah, this is what we doing. But yeah, you're my priority. Period. Like, that's what I need. And and to know that it's people out there that it really is people that's on the same thing. Like, they ain't doing too much of this and they ain't doing too little of that. Or they ain't doing too little of that and not another. Thing. Like, it's an equal playing field. And it feels good to know that, like, you ain't feeling stuck like or the things that you were requiring and needed to be the best mate you could be for somebody like was 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 played down like it's really people out there that 
is looking for that and and you know and it's, it's just it's a good thing it's a good thing you know so anyway y'all as y'all can see you're giving on a whole nother energy a whole nother vibe and i i even was like i need to record a video i was like give me 20 minutes and i'll be back in rotation with you like i had to like sneak that in there because i was like because the consistency is on point it's just everything and i'm a capricorn and consistency is i mean i think i don't even want to just base it on capricorns because it's a lot of people who just love like i i am a consistent man i love somebody i love to be consistent and i like somebody who's consistent with me and it's just when you get that and in, in this in this day and time 2021 these generations so to find somebody who just who ain't no texter who pick up the phone and call you who pop up or it's just a different who wants to actually date it's, it's yeah your girl giddy so anyways so i i let them know that i was gonna be you know talking about this, this situation in a roundabout way rosie <laughs> so yeah anyways y'all i hope y'all be blessed let go of that old baggage <laughs> baby close that chapter start you with knowing and be in control of your new destiny man you deserve it i swear once you realize what you deserve like me i already knew what my worth was but when i feel like i, I said this many moons ago when i first started my chapter one thing for sure two things about it i would never try to put myself in a situation where I feel like I'm settling and I'm compromising too much of self to benefit anybody because then you lose yourself. And I feel like, yes, with anything that you do, you have to be willing to make certain sacrifices and adjustments to make a healthy situation. But when you find yourself, and that's what I've been seeing a lot of people talk about, peace. When you find yourself, you ain't got no peace. And your spirit is always just riled up. Let it go, sis. It ain't worth it. It's not. And as much as you, like I said, you probably done visited, wanted to work. And it just, that chapter wasn't doing it for you. It, just, it may have been two, three years, but it, it just it let the time and it, let it go. Because I promise you, what you truly deserve is out there for any and everybody. So, y'all be blessed. Y'all stay true. Remember to love the people that love you. Rock with the people that rock with you. Like that. It's real out here. And, you know, be safe out here. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is still going on in this world. But try to still live your life. Don't let all of this keep you bound up. You know? Go for walks with your kids, with your spouse. Do things to still keep y'all alive. You know, keep keep the spark there. Do those things. You need it. We need it. Um, yeah, and I'm going to let y'all go on that note because I got things to do today. Well, I'm pretty much done doing the things I need to do, but yeah, that's not the point but like i said y'all remember to love the people that love you y'all stay blessed y'all stay safe until next time